You're never going out of style. Ooh, pretty baby. This world might have gone crazy. The way you save me. Welcome back to KNET Liberty North. It's a perfect Wednesday morning here in the studio, and we've got a lot of news to bring to you guys. We sure do, Abby, and not just from Liberty, but from around the world. That's right, Alberta. Ben Hicks will be giving us our World News Wednesday report and clearing up the facts on the Ebola outbreak in KC. And our reporters, Alina and Steven, are outside on the Liberty North football field. How's the weather out there, Alina? Hey, Liberty North. We're out here on your football field with the band. It's a bit chilly out today, and later on in the show, I'll have your full weather report. And I'll have your sports report later on in the show as well. Back to you guys. Thanks, guys. Well, Alberta, what do you say we kick this show off? Let's do it, Abby. Your net news starts now. now. How about we mix things up a little bit today? Sounds good to me, Abby. Let's go ahead and start off with this week's edition of World News Wednesday. For news in the developing concern of Ebola, a possible patient at KU Med was tested for the disease yesterday and came back negative, but with another tropical disease instead. As in Texas, there has been three confirmed cases in Dallas, the first patient that brought the disease over has passed away and the two remaining patients are still being treated. Currently, there are upwards of 75 people that were in contact with the patients before they were diagnosed and are now being tested. Fortunately, there is no immediate threat to us here in Liberty. My partner Alex and I will continue to bring you more information as the topic develops. Alberta, back to you. Thanks, Ben. Abby and I have a couple of brief announcements for you guys. If you are a member of the Biology One Club, you have a meeting today during Eagle Hour in room 910. If you have any questions concerning the club or meeting, you can contact Mr. Bylan in his room 910. Students, if you signed up to take the PSAT this Saturday, October 18th, you must arrive at 7.30 a.m. with your student ID or driver's license. You will not be let in without your ID. Also, please enter through the 600 doors and bring a number two pencil and a calculator. Juniors and seniors, Mrs. Combs will be taking students to the Urban League Scholarship Fair and College Networking Day on Saturday, November 1st. If you are interested, please pick up a permission slip in the Counseling Center. Juniors and seniors, don't forget that the University of Missouri will be visiting today at 1 p.m. You can still sign up for a visit on Family Connection. The last day to drop a class without an F is today. You may only drop for an online class, and please keep in mind that these classes are not NCAA approved. This week is Teen Read Week in the library. You can stop by the bulletin board in the LMC and try to guess which teachers are behind the books for a chance to win a $10 gift card to Sheridan's. You can also try to guess which book is in the jar to be entered in a drawing for a $15 gift card to Barnes & Noble. Also, if you dressed up as a book character today, please go down to the LMC to have your picture taken. Please check your email for a flyer sent out by Mrs. King for more information. That's all the announcements Alberta and I have for you guys today. Steven, what do you have for us in sports? Well, Abby, it's a royal day today as the Royals last night beat the Orioles 2-1. to one and with that victory tied the longest consecutive playoff victory streak at seven games. And the final game is today against the Orioles here in Kansas City. And a victory today would mean the Orioles would travel to their first World Series in 29 years. And in more school-related sports news, last night our cross-country team competed in the Suburban White Conference. The girls won a second consecutive conference championship, won by the individual conference champion Stephanie Bone. The boys just barely missed a conference championship, taking second place behind Staley, led by Dylan McCloskey in third place. Congratulations, Eagles. The boys' swim and dive team has their last regular season dual meet tonight against the independent schools at Bridger Aquatic Center. Their conference meet is next weekend. Also, if you are a girl interested in swim and dive, there will be an informational meeting regarding this upcoming season this Friday in Coach, Coach, Coach Warner's room, Learning Villa 14. The volleyball team was also in action for senior night last night and defeated Raytown High School. The Eagles' next game is Thursday at Fort Osage. Our softball team looks to start sectional play today against Park Hill South at Park Hill South. Good luck, Eagles. And earlier this week, Lake Graybill competed in the state tournament for golf as our sole competitor. Our reporter, Olivia Vandal, has her live in studio to recount her experience. Olivia? Thanks, Stephen. I'm here with Lake Graybill, Liberty North's first freshman to go to state in golf. So, Lake, how did it feel when you found out you were going to state? I was very surprised because I didn't think I was going to go that far this year for golf. Now, describe the pressure you felt and how you dealt with it. 
I didn't feel the pressure till the first day of the tournament, and I just had to play through it. And did the weather affect your play at all? Uh, the rain, surprisingly, did not affect me that much. It was the wind. And with the weather changing it to an 18-hole tournament instead of a 36, how did that affect you? Uh, another 18 holes would have definitely helped uh, my score out a lot. And what are your goals for a player next year? My goals are to make it to state and do much better next year. All right, there you have it. Thanks, Lake. Keep up the good work and tune in tomorrow for some video of the golf tournament. Now, Alina, how is the weather looking at outside right now? Thanks, Olivia. Today we're blessed with a day without rain or snow or too much wind. As I said earlier, we have a sunny day ahead of us with a high of 63 degrees. Later on this evening, the wind will pick up, bringing us down to our low of 43. Tomorrow, we can look forward to the sun with a high of 70 degrees and clear skies with a low around 49. Friday, this fabulous weather continues with the sun shining and a high near 67 degrees. Friday night, just in time for the football game, we got lucky with clear skies and a low of 46 degrees, so be prepared with a jacket. And that concludes your daily forecast for today. Eagles, Abby in Alberta, back to you. Thanks, Selena. Please don't forget that if you have anything you're interested in seeing on air, to tweet us at at knet underscore news and to follow us for some on-air possibilities coming up later this month. We hope you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching your Knet News. We'll catch, catch you on, on the north side. side.